Welcome to another episode of Two Minute Tuesday. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about cold water immersion therapy for recovery in tennis. My name is Carl Page, currently head of performance and strength and conditioning with Tennis Strong. I am currently working both in person and remotely with a number of professional athletes through to young beginners. It is my aim through this YouTube channel to provide you, our loyal subscribers, with a number of videos throughout the week in order to emphasize the importance of physical development in the sport of tennis. If you're not doing so already, then please do hit the subscribe button below, as well as the button next to that, the bell icon, in order to get notified of our every release. So onto the topic of cold water immersion therapy for recovery. I wanted to pick this topic specifically because it's one which I think a lot of people get wrong. And coincidentally, it's also a topic that has been covered in recent research that was published a little over four weeks ago by Kruger et al. in the European Journal of Applied Physiology. I'll place a link to the abstract within the description below this video if you want to take a look at that yourself. Now, this research study in particular drew my attention because whilst it covers the sport of field hockey, which I know has nothing to do with tennis, what was interesting is that this study looked into international level players, which were subjected to competition every day over a five day period, which is also the five day period that they drew the results from this study, which is quite interesting because this is a scenario which tennis players find themselves in during tournaments. There's not a lot of research into cold water immersion therapy over a period of time because most studies go into sports which are subjected to competition once a week. So this research study proves fairly relevant to the sport of tennis. Now to get straight to the point, this study found absolutely no improvement in markers of recovery when they compared the results from those who did use cold water immersion therapy and those that did not. Over recent years, I've accessed a number of studies which have actually suggested that although cold water immersion therapy, such as ice baths or cold showers, can reduce symptoms of pain, what it can do is reduce, in the very short term, it can reduce markers of testosterone growth hormone and the body's ability to synthesize muscle protein. So whilst the individual might feel slightly less sore or slightly less stiff if they use cold water immersion therapy, physiologically, the markers of recovery are going to be a lot less, which was actually similar to the conclusion found in this recent study. Now, my advice to my athletes, and which I've been giving to them for a number of years now, is to focus a little bit more on heat therapy. So this might be the use of hot baths or hot water bottles in areas which are feeling slightly more sore or stiff. Heat therapy is actually going to increase cellular metabolism, which effectively means that molecules that are moving in and out of the cell are going to be upregulated. In layman's terms, more oxygen and nutrient dense blood is gonna be sent to the working muscle and therefore optimize recovery that little bit faster. Now heat therapy is only, let's say a marginal gain. You're only gonna get a subtle improvement in recovery using this technique. What is more important is an effective nutrition strategy and a effective hydration strategy, good sleep, and if you want to use other methodologies such as massage and stretching, then that's absolutely fine also. Now, the main takeaway for this video is that cold water immersion therapy, time and time again in recent research, has been shown not to have any improvement in neuromuscular recovery. So don't waste time and effort jumping into an ice bath before your next match. Instead, get a hot bath, increase cellular metabolism, stretch, foam roll, get a massage, or more importantly, focus on your nutrition, hydration, and sleep strategies. That's it for today's Two Minute Tuesday. Please do, as I said earlier, hit the subscribe button below, as well as the bell icon next to that to get notified of our next release.